Hello, Chloe here. In this video, I'll be opening up a lot of the goods I picked up while I was in Korea a couple of months ago, as well as the merch and figures that I got from AmiAmi Ami that I just never opened up, plus some other stuff that came in between now and then. I am still waiting on a lot of my packages, but I just feel like I haven't opened anything in a while. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so let's start off with everything I bought in Korea. They're all in this Daiso bag, but I didn't get these from Daiso. I just put them in here while I was packing. So basically, I didn't really do that much in Korea. I just went to a collab cafe for a mana webtoon that I am a fan of and picked up a bunch of stuff there. And then I also picked up a couple of these random Spy Family and Chainsaw Man card collection. And we'll start off with these. Um, let's start off with the Spy Family one first. I have no idea what's inside here. It says there's 32 cards in total, but the back only shows like six of them. All right, first pack. Ah, we got Anya and Yor. I think this is where Yor was training Anya, right? For the dodgeball game. So cute. Second pack, we have Lloyd. We got my boy, my man's. Last pack, we got Anya. Oh, so cute. She's doing homework. And I did want the whole family, and I technically did get them. So I'm pretty happy about this pull. Moving on to the Chainsaw Man cards. So these are metallic card collection so i guess they're metal this guy got mike wazowski one sec i forgot his name not gonna lie i want a makima or a pochita or a power i think those three i'll be happy with or a denji i guess um but mainly i want makima because i am a makima enjoyer <laughs> all right first pack we got we got my boy Denji. We got Denji here. So these cards are not metal, they're plastic. Um, I guess the metal part is referring to this metallic effect going on in the background. And here's what the back looks like. Pretty cool. I like the design of this, it's really simple. Moving on to the second pack, we got Makima! We got my girl! Oh my god. I Y'all, I'm not, like super lucky right now. It's so weird. Um, I'm manifesting so hard. Ah, I don't even know why I like her. I think it's just because she's toxic. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the third pack. We got... Pochita. We got my boy. My pig. My chainsaw pig. Oh, so cute. Low key, I kind of wish I bought more of these. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the Spy Family ones, but... Yeah, I just really like the design of this a lot more. It's a lot cleaner, simpler, very nice. Maybe I'll buy more in the future. What do you think? The next few minutes are gonna focus on my manhwa webtoon fixation. And this first item is a collecting card holder from Villains Are Destined to Die, one of my personal favorite series right now. And it's only like 4,500 won, which is like around $3, so pretty cheap. And here's what the cover looks like. Pretty great design. It's like a really thick plastic. And here is the PR card. Very nice hollow foil effect going on, but I wanted it to be a little more special, so I put it in a protective sleeve with like some hollow effects on it. And here's what it looks like. Totally worth the $3. It looks great. All right, next up we have five packs of cards here from the same series. And this is from volume two. And I don't actually know what any of the cards look like. They didn't have any samples or anything, but I know it's gonna look gorgeous anyway because the art's gorgeous. So yeah, it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. All right, so let's open up the first pack here. I forgot who this, oh, okay. So looks like there is a shiny one at the back there. And there's three cards per pack. So we got her, we got Penelope. She is the main character, that's my girl. 
And then we got Eccles. Eccles? Eccles? He's one of the love interests, but I'm not that big of a fan of him. But still pretty cool card. Let's move on to the next pack. Ooh, I see another foil. I wonder if like it just includes a foil in every pack. Girl, I don't know. Okay, we got Reynold here. He's like her brother. And then we have Eccles again. And then we got Winter. Winter is another one of their love interests. Also not a big fan of him. I just find him boring. No offense. All right, third pack. Hopefully we don't get dupes, but I guess we'll see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, wait. There's a foil in the middle, and so far they've all been in the back. <gasps> Callisto with Penelope in one of my favorite parts of the series so far. And another one right behind. Wait, hold on. Quick break. Okay, I'm back. I just put the card in a sleeve and then put it in this like casing. It's so gorgeous. It looks so good. Oh, oh my god. What is this look? Oh my god, okay, so we have two more packs, so let's open them up. I don't think it'll top this card, but let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna open both of them at the same time, because I pretty much peeked here. Let me turn them around so we don't see them. But yeah, <laughs> if we get another Callisto, I'll be happy, but we'll see. Okay, so got Eccles here, we got Winter, we got... Penelope. This didn't have a hollow, so I guess it's not guaranteed. Um, we got a side character. I totally forgot who she is. And then we got Reynold. And then Winter. So I guess the last two packs didn't have any foils. Very unfortunate. I thought it was guaranteed, but I guess not. We got three foils here. One of my boy. So pretty happy with this. Kind of wish I did buy more, but whatever. <laughs> I won! Moving on to the collab merge for Father I Don't Want This Marriage. I'm just gonna like breeze through this really quick because there's a lot. So first up we have this postcard set and there are six in here in total. I bought this mainly because I love the illustrations for this series. It's so gorgeous. It's like the best part of this, honestly. Otherwise, it's kind of mid, um, if I'm being honest. I still really love it. Um, yeah. And of course, I picked up acrylic stands because I am obsessed with them. There was four in total, but I just picked up these three. One of the dad, Max, and our main character, Juvelian. And the fourth one was of Max and Juvelian in like their wedding outfits or something, but I didn't pick that one up. But anyways, I'm only gonna open Juvelian for now, just until I have an idea of where I wanna put the other two. And this acrylic stand is big, a lot bigger than my other Mana acrylic stands. Um, here they are all together. So pretty, I'm really happy that my Manhua merch collection is growing because I love them so really happy to see my collection growing. I also completed the stamp card and received this sticker seal set which is adorable. I had to get this and I also received a couple of coasters. I don't know how many they give you but I basically bought the entire menu which was like two drinks and two cakes and three cookies and I ended up getting seven of these coasters. I'm honestly surprised that I didn't get any dupes and if you're wondering what I do with these coasters, I don't use them. They're collectibles. They go inside a storage folder and then I put them in a drawer. Alright, moving on to more blind bags. We have 14 of these 
photo cards and there are 10 in total, two per pack. So hopefully I do get the whole set. All right, first pack. We got our male lead, Max, looking very cool. And then Max looking very sad. Next pack, we got Juvelian looking gorgeous, so pretty. And in the back, we have another one. I wonder if these packs are like the same character per pack. Number three, we have Max with Juvelian, very pretty. And then Juvelian with her dad, Regis, my man looks great they look so good such a beautiful family after this pack i'll probably just open everything off camera and show you never mind we got dupes one more pack if it's a new card then i'll just open everything else off screen all right oh, gorgeous this reminds me of like the mona lisa but better so i open everything else off camera and in the end i am missing literally just one which sucks but look how pretty this is i put them in a sleeve and then put these like photo card decoration layers i wish i could have completed the set of course but i'm pretty happy with what i got i swear we're almost done but we do have a couple of freebies including these two postcards and photo cards and these are random for spending like a ridiculous amount of money on the merch and I'm really happy that I got these two specifically. In addition, they gave me like this fat stack of illustration cards or like postcards. And I don't know how much you're supposed to spend for each like threshold, but it's crazy how I got this fat stack. <laughs> no dupes here again, which is really nice. Honestly, don't know what I'm going to do with these. I always say I'm going to like hang them up and display them. In reality, I just kind of put them in my drawer and not display them. But that's a problem for future me. Current me is happy with her pile of loot. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for collab merch. Moving on to my Ami Ami goods. First up, we have a pinch acrylic strap of... Elda from Otaku Elf, which is a series that I just kind of started watching randomly and thoroughly enjoyed. And of course I needed to pick something up and this was like a perfect little piece of merch. Next up, we have four blind bags of my Happy Marriage Trading Acrylic Card Key Holders. Really long name, but yeah, let's open up the first one. And look at that, oh, it's so pretty. I love that the ball chain is a metallic pink. It matches perfectly. But yeah, look at this. <sighs> Amazing art as usual. Moving on to the next pack. Hopefully we don't get any dupes because I only got four and there were a couple of other designs. But yeah, crossing my fingers. Ooh, we got a new one. Oh, this is so pretty. I think this is like one of my favorite ones. Actually, I do have like a chibi acrylic stand of this one. Moving on to the third pack. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> oh no! We got a dupe. <laughs> I was just saying good things about it. Last pack. Surely we won't get a dupe. <laughs> oh, and we got a new one. Even more prettier. So good. This is so pretty. This is beyond gorgeous. So happy about this. We did get a dupe, but you know what? Three out of four, that's pretty good. 75%. <laughs> also from my happy marriage, I picked up this chibi acrylic stand to go with the one I got a couple of months ago. I couldn't resist picking this up, so here it is. <laughs> Next up, I picked up a couple of pins from Bandori, Bang Dream Girls Band Party, which I used to be obsessed with. I've been slowly collecting the event pins of like the events that I tiered in back in the day and I do have a couple more from before, but yeah, slowly trying to collect as many as I can. Finally, moving on to figures, we have this prize figure of Marin from My Dress Up Darling cosplaying as her favorite character, Shizuku. And I've seen pictures of her online when she first went up and she looked amazing, like surprisingly great for a prize figure. And 
I ended up picking it up and she was only like I think less than $20 so it was like a really good price. I got her off Mercari Japan using Bai. And yeah, here's the box. Um, nothing special, it's pretty flimsy as um, most prize figures are. And here she is out of the box. She looks like pretty much one-to-one -one as the promo pics. Honestly, she looks so good. And I'm honestly surprised by like how detailed this is. Like obviously it's not like as elaborate as most scale figures but this is like pretty close for 20 bucks this is amazing i particularly like the detail in the lace pattern this is just like plastic it's not actual fabric but it's amazing how nice it looks and also her artboard her illustration board here also very crisp. Um, I don't know where you're supposed to put this so I just kind of put this by her feet. Don't know where else you would put it. I'm gonna put it back in the box after this probably. And for her chain, it is an actual like metal chain but I am kind of concerned about it like rusting and kind of like staining the figure so I don't know about this. It looks great for now but Future wise, I'm I am a bit concerned. Overall, probably the best price figure I have. Would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Marin or my Jessup Darling in general. Next up, we have the Alicia Hersher of Human Ego Asteroid series from Honkai Impact Third. She is number 13 in this line. And here she is out of the box. She looks so adorable. She's very cute, very small. She has a little staff. Oh, so cute. Her base is just a clear circle like the other figures in this series, like the Kiana and Sushang one I have. It's whatever. What matters here is that Alicia herself looks adorable and so pretty. Quickly moving on to the final figure of this video, it is the 1A scale Groza OTS14 from Girls Frontline. And this is by Reverse Studio, who is responsible for the other Groza music box figure. So it's a similar concept based on a different art. So this is based off her damaged art in the game. And I did pick this up on Ami Ami pre-owned in B plus B condition for about 17,000 yen, which isn't the best price. I think you can find her for like 12,000 yen in the same condition. So she did go down a lot. And honestly, I think that's a more reasonable price for this figure. Like I have some personal gripes with this figure. Nothing major, like I still like the figure and I still would have picked it up knowing all of this. So first of all, here is the base. It's pretty similar to the previous one, which I will show you later. But to get access to the music box, you have to pull it out like so to get access to the dial. But in the previous version, it's just there. <laughs> it's a lot more accessible and easier to, I don't know, listen to the music box. Another thing that I don't really like is the suitcase. First of all, it doesn't close. It's not magnetic. It doesn't like snap close. It's just kind of loosely opens and closes. And even more specifically, I don't like the interior. It just feels really cheap and it kind of does look cheap too. And the pieces don't really fit in snugly so like they will fall off. It's not the biggest issue for me. It's just that upon first seeing it, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> At least the outside looks nice. That's the most important part. She also comes with a heel here. Um, I'm gonna keep this sealed because it's just less parts to worry about. And here is Groza herself and I think Groza looks great. She looks very similar to their previous figure which I love. Personally I just love the pose of that one a lot more than this but she does still look really great. I love how her hair turned out. And her outfit also, whatever remains of it, looks good. It's very similar to her previous one, just a lot less material. One thing I don't like about it though, and maybe it's just me, it's just that like the torn fabric part on her like chest looks a little weird. It looks very fake, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. 
like I quickly figured out what it was going for but there's like another part on her like hip area where I was a bit confused on what it was but I, I th I'm pretty sure it is like ripped fabric or something that they were going for there but yeah very minor thing very specific to me maybe <laughs> And here is her gun fully assembled. It was pretty easy to put together and it looks cool. I'm assuming that it's accurate. Still don't know anything about guns, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. So I feel like all I did was kind of like complain about this figure, but I just wanted you to know that I do really like it. That said, she is really tiny and here's like a size comparison between the original reverse studio figure and then this one. They are both 1A scale and I'm pretty sure that they're like the same size, like their head sculpts are pretty much exactly the same in terms of sizing. So it's just because she's on the ground and not standing. But one thing that is a tiny bit smaller is her base. It's a little bit smaller and just for fun here she is right next to the Marin figure from earlier. They're like pretty much the same. Marin looks a little bigger, which I found interesting. And yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy this music box music. <laughs>